Hey everybody, what's up? We're here for One Piece Chapter 891 Review. Let's go! This chapter opens up with the time, and we catch up with Lady Strucy and Big News Morgan talking. Uh, Tamago is with them, and while Morgan doesn't want Strucy to tell Tamago about the Tomate Baku box, she does. And Morgan's reason for not wanting to tell him is it would lower the Straw Hat's chance of survival? And I think Morgan's wish for their safety is out of greed. I mean, a headline that says, Big Mom Pirates Defeated by Straw Hats is sure to sell better than Wedding Crashing Straw Hats Destroyed by Big Mom. I mean, yeah, both headlines are sure to sell, but the first one sounds way more shocking. Moving on to the mirror world, um, who is this girl? And I don't mean who she is, we know that. She's Charlotte Flambe, the 36th daughter of Big Mom, uh, leader of the Katakuri fan club, and was voted best little sis from 40 out of 41 of her big brothers. I'm guessing the missing vote is Katakuri's? Now, she did say something about that she's going to become the Little Sister King and that she is going to score something called brownie points from helping her brother. As far as I can tell, honestly, she just seems to be looking to get Katakuri's favor. Anyway, what I meant is, what is her purpose in the story? Her minions are clearly not able to do anything. She is carrying a sword, but I doubt she is going to fight. I am, however, interested in her body, though. Wait, wait, don't call the police. I mean, seriously, what's up with it? Yes, it's the polka-dotted outfit that makes her lower half look like an egg, but it's still shaped very strangely. It makes me wonder, does she have a devil fruit that could mess with Luffy? Otherwise, I have no clue why Oda would take the time to introduce her while Katakuri and Luffy are having such a big fight. Speaking of their fight, Luffy is getting pummeled while not being able to get a single hit in. Now he does take a moment to recall words told to him and he takes that moment and he's able to match Katakuri's attack. Yes he gets kicked right after but just as Katakuri says he is now getting glimpses into the future once in a while. This is Huge. I don't know if it will be easy for Luffy after this fight, but at this point, it's clear that Luffy now has the skill of seeing the future. And while it might not be all that reliable now, or even for the next fight, it will eventually have a huge impact on his combat ability. Maybe I'm too enthusiastic about it, but consider if he had this ability while fighting Doflamingo. Even at this level, it might have had a dramatic effect on the fight. Well, anyway, back to the chapter and a little further into it. We see the wedding cake is finished. Everyone is celebrating. Sanji says thanks to Pudding and Chiffon. Pudding does her routine and Sanji answers her at the same time. As Luffy tells Katakuri, they will succeed because their friends are believing in them which was a really nice, classic straw hat movement. Now, for the last page of the chapter, we got all sorts of crazy stuff going on. Chopper and Monster Point talking about how about grabbing Big Mom and dragging her into the sea with him. Prometheus has got so huge, to the point that my advice last chapter to soak him in water just would not work. And at the last moment, Nomi sees Sanji's ship is on the way. It might seem too late, but at the last panel, Big Mom can smell it. She smells that delicious cake. So it seems the Sunny is saved. Hopefully, Big Mom knows the way and flies over to the smell of the cake and eats it. After that, it's really a toss-up of what happens. But if I had to take a guess, i say she's probably going to pass out, so none of the Straw Hats have to worry about her anymore, and that would probably force the other Big Mom pirates chasing to recover her. Well guys, that's all I got for this chapter. See you on the next chapter, and if you're not subscribed and like this video, think about hitting that button. Bye bye